Pokemon Red and Pokemon Blue. The originals. The original Pokemon, the original gyms, and of course, the original glitches. Pokemon Red and Blue are known for having some interesting glitches, like the Missino glitch and the Mew glitch. But these glitches that I am about to show you are glitches that I didn't even know about until I did a little bit of research for them. For now, I will only be going over glitches from Gen 1, and maybe sometime in the future I will do Gen 2. So let's start with the first glitch. This first glitch is not useful, not even in the slightest, but it is still really interesting. The glitch is known as the Lift Key Overworld Misplacement Glitch, and it's as simple as this. In Pokemon Red and Blue, Team Rocket has a hidden base in the casino in Celadon City. In this space, there is a point where you have to get a Lift Key in order to get out, but it is held by a Grunt, and you must defeat him in order to get it. After you defeat him, he will drop it to his left, but if you're standing where he will drop it, he will instead drop it underneath you, and you can no longer grab it until you move down. It's a really silly glitch, but I thought it was still interesting to bring up since it's a very simple mistake and Game Freak still missed it. This next glitch is another one that serves no purpose, but I thought it was still interesting to bring up. This one is known as the Empty Pokemon Glitch. This is another simple one. All you have to do is get the potion in your PC at the start of the game and use it. It will then pull up your Pokemon list, but since you don't have any Pokemon at that point in the game, it will just show a blank screen. This glitch was fixed in Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow, so it only works on the Japanese versions of Red and Green. Dumb glitch, but hey, still kind of interesting. This glitch is so goddamn confusing that after watching a ton of videos on it, I still don't understand what's going on or why it happens. I couldn't even recreate the glitch myself, so you're watching footage by Chikasaurus GL. The glitch is known as the Doko Kashira Door Glitch, and all it does is allow you to beat the game in about 5 to 6 minutes. Sounds awesome, but holy crap is it confusing. Once you get Oak's parcel, you want to press the select button on it, then immediately exit and run into a wild Pokemon. While you're in battle, go to your Pokemon and press A. This will confuse the game and think that you switched your Pokemon with the item. Then you want to count your steps because the next step is to walk into your rival's house, but only on the 84th to 88th step. Once you walk in, you will teleport near Celadon City. From there, all you have to do is walk in and out of the Pokemon Center and then walk into the Celadon Department Store, and then, boom, you're at the Elite Four right behind Lance. Just walk past him and your rival and there you go, you are now the champion. Just like the previous glitch, this only works on the Japanese versions of Pokemon Red and Green. If you want to get a better explanation of this glitch and how it works, then go check out this video by Alex Ogloza. He does a very good job of explaining the glitch himself. Speaking of beating the game early, did you know you can beat Pokemon Yellow in under a minute? This one is just as, if not more confusing than the door glitch one. This glitch I couldn't even replicate myself, so it will be pretty difficult to explain. Because I know I will completely botch this explanation and will probably make you guys more confused, here's a link to Psycho's video. He does a much better explanation and doesn't make it confusing at all. While you're over there, tell him Zelda War sent you. He'll know what it means. No, he won't. So I will give you a few seconds to click on the link. Still here? Well, I guess a quick summary would be that all you really have to do is right before the game saves, you must reset your Game Boy, and when you open it up, it allows you to open up your Pokemon list well before you should be able to. From there, you have to do a lot of confusing switching and swapping between your invisible Pokemon. And when you're all done, just leave your house and there you are, in the Champion's Room. Do this quick enough and you have beaten Pokemon Yellow in less than a minute. I told you I would botch it. Sticking with the theme of skipping, this next glitch is known as the Pewter Gym Skip Glitch, and it is pretty much self-explanatory, but I'ma talk about it anyway. There is actually multiple ways of performing this glitch, but just to save time, I will only be going over one of the methods. The first thing you want to do is get your cursor on the save button ready, then walk in front of the youngster. Once he's done with his dialogue, immediately pause the game, save, and reset. When you launch the game again, the youngster will still take you over to Brock, but when you head back, he is now gone. Just make sure to walk on the tile he was standing on before. Now you have officially skipped Brock and can come back later with level 100 Pokemon. And speaking of level 100 Pokemon, the last glitch I'll be going over is the level 100 glitch. This glitch allows you to get a level 100 Pokemon before you challenge Brock. This is another confusing glitch that I know I will mess up, but hey, I'll try my best anyway. So in Viridian Forest, if you run into a wild Pokemon at the exact same time you walk in front of a bug catcher, it will activate the wild encounter first. But if you lose to the wild Pokemon, you still white out as usual, but the game will still activate the battle by showing the trainer's exclamation points. Now, you want to go and face your rival, and in the battle, you want to lower his Pokemon's attack as much as you can and then beat him. 
Now you want to walk over to Viridian Forest, and there you go, you now have a level 1 Pokemon. Once you catch it, you want to do the switch training method, and once it gains XP, it will jump immediately to level 100. I don't know how this works, but I think this happens because the original Pokemon Red and Blue weren't meant to have level 1 Pokemon. So when the game sees you have one, it corrects itself to giving you a level 100 Pokemon. Also, I believe what Pokemon you encounter is completely random. So yeah.